Hey friends, it's Byron and I'm back with a brand new video. And if you're here, comment, like, subscribe. So we are talking about The Real Love Boat. It's episode four and um, let's just dive right into it. You guys know I have my little handy dandy notes here. So um, let's talk about Dean. He's talking all over the place with Nicole. He's here, he's there. Like, I don't understand what he's saying. She doesn't understand what he's saying. Does he even know what he un understand what he's saying? I don't know, friends. But anyway, he is all over the place. Um, Jordan, they like, you know, the guys are talking and he's like, seeming like he's ready to jump ship if the opportunity arises. And I guess at some point that any of them are like that. But now we're at episode four. So it's probably, we'll say week four, which is probably really like day four for them. But, well, maybe day eight. But anyway, um, okay, whatever. Shaylin thinks that Nathan is not into Elisa. And you know what? I think the same thing because he doesn't open up to her. And I honestly think the same thing. And I will let you guys know a little bit more about that as we go on with the episode. Because this is a recap review. So you have to know what happened on the show to know what the hell I'm talking about. Um, Shaylin thinks that... Oh, um, Marty is, um, oh, Marty is wanting to settle down. Like, here's the thing. And I'm, I know Emily is probably a little skeptical because I don't know how many relationships she's, she's had, but she definitely, um, confesses to him at their captain's dinner that she's a virgin. And so... I, I don't know. I, I honestly, anyway, I'll tell you what I'm thinking about those two later on in the show. So, um, so the new girls walk in and Sarah is probably Dean's type. And that's kind of what I thought. Like when, when she's being introduced and this and the other, you can kind of see that she got that same quirkiness that Dean has. And I would think that they would probably hit it off. And let's see. And the other girl, um, Mila, she's 30 and she's mature. She looks mature. I mean, some, compared to some of the other girls, like you can tell that she was like 30 and they were 25. Just anyway. Um, I think she had that certain kind of thing about her. I don't know. It just seemed like she wasn't going to mesh well with any of those guys, to be honest with you. Anyway, that's kind of how I, what I thought. All right, so the challenge comes, and the challenge is um, the women blindly touching the men over the body, and it's kind of like um, aura and body odor, pretty much. Sits, body sits. We'll put it that way. We'll make it a little sexier, a little finer. And um, anyway, Marty ends up winning, and I'm hoping, jokingly, the guys that were pretty much fit was saying, oh my God, well, you don't need for me to work out because of this and the other. But the thing is that Marty doesn't, it's not overboard and it's not underboard. It's just that amount. And it's just something with the way that he carry himself. Like when it comes to sense, there's something that's in the scent that you give off. And sometimes we do or don't smell it. You don't smell it on everybody. It's just most of the people that you're actually attracted to. And what people don't understand most of the time is that you can find somebody attractive, but are you attracted to them? It's two different things. So, anyway. Um, the Oh, I said Morty wins the challenge. And then um, Nathan um, goes over to Mila. And he seems to be opening up to her quite easily. And that's what I didn't get. It's like, you know, you've been with Elisa now for three weeks. And she's like trying to tear down a wall. But Mila, you're touching your this, your that, you're pretty much almost giddy. So I didn't know what he was going on there, but it's like, you know what, get it together. But she definitely, Elisa was definitely wary this episode. Let me know what you guys think about what the hell happened at the sail away ceremony. Um, let's see. Dean and Sarah are having a good time. Yeah, like I said, I mean, the two of them look good together. Um, next week, next week's episode, you know, they like to edit some shit to make you think things went a different way, but we shall see. Um, Nathan admits that he is not fully attracted to Elisa. 
again, we're going to talk at the sail away ceremony when we get to that part in the show. Yeah, some things, you know what? I know you want to be like camaraderie and rah, rah, rah with the guys, but some things you just need to keep to yourself. And if you want to word them, make sure you choose those words carefully because somebody can definitely go back and say when the women are in power because men do talk to their women and say, you know what? Nathan said that he wasn't attracted to her fully and this, that, the other. It gets back to Elisa because what's her name? Shaylin is definitely into um, Elisa and Nathan's business. I'm just saying. All right. Um, Emily opens up about her virginity to Nathan. Um, and I said this earlier um, in this show that um, I love them two together. I really do her. They work out. I, I don't think the nine year difference is actually going to be a problem for them. And I think the man that she's looking for is him because if she's, even though she's 24 and he's 33, if most of the time, and, and it's not saying that it happens every time you can find someone your same age and have that same you know mentality and maturity level and looking to go on and this at the other i mean i work with some people that's been with their high school loves but most of the time you don't so even if this guy had had whatever he had in the past he's done with it now and you can clearly see that unless he's a damn good actor he's done with it and he's ready to fully commit to her and i really do hope it works out for them um, Sarah and Dean's date. Um, Dean look actually looks okay with this five o'clock shadow. I know he may shave a lot because of the um, modeling that he does, but he should seriously think and think about keeping that five o'clock shadow. And um, let's see. Oh yeah, and I think they are perfect match and they kiss. So here's the thing: like when the girls were talking right before the celebrate ceremony. I don't necessarily know that it was disrespectful that Sarah said that her and Dean shared a kiss on their date. It's not like she was rubbing it in Nicole's face. It's something that happened. She was asked. She just didn't volunteer the information. So for Kendra to say that, I don't know if that was a true statement to make. I mean, you guys are all there trying to date the same people. Um, Let's see. Jordan and Mila's date, um, I, I thought it happened. You know, they tried to have some connection. I could kind of see it. But anyway, I, I don't personally see them as a couple. Um, Daniel and Shailene, Shailene, they locked in as of right now. And that's the thing. Like, you know what? I think they are locked in. Um, I definitely know that she may be locked in. But again, you know, you never hope, know who's going to walk through that port. And you never know. Like, those ones that thought they were... But I'm still rooting for Marty and, and, and Emily. I, I think they're going to do it. But um, I don't know. Because Shailene seems to be all in. But he said he was 95.9%. So he still has some doubt there. He still want to leave the door open. I'm talking about Daniel. Nicole, girl, you messed up. So here's where she went wrong. It was, I think it was the first, when the women were first in power. I think she went wrong right there. Um, and then she ended up, I don't know, like when the when the two, the two men that got booted out the first time, I think she should have switched then. Who was her partner? Dean. Well, I don't know. She messed up on one of those. I can't remember. Go back and watch some of my videos. When I said, was I surprised that she was picking? Anyway, so the Sail Away ceremony happens, and I'm only going to do three of them out because two of them were obvious. So Jordan and I, I definitely thought he was going to pick Mila, but he didn't. Mila, you was reaching, girl, and but um, you didn't grab anything. So anyway, that happened. And um, he made some remarks about having a woman that be able to keep him in control and this and the other. Well, you know what? No one should have to keep ties on you and keep you in control. You should be keeping yourself in control if you're in a committed relationship. Um, Nathan picks Elisa, which surprises me a whole lot because he was definitely vibing with Mila. But again, 
she was way too mature for him and that probably wouldn't last last mila needs her somebody that's 35 to 40 not 20 to 25 keep searching mila you are a pretty girl but um though I, yeah she would probably would have been better with like the two of the guys that that left the episode before and then of course dean picked sarah and um i don't know why nicole was so surprised about that but anyway and so um Nicole and Mila gets the boot and the ship is off to Naples. So anyway, friends, we have come to the end of the road with this episode. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to see me every time I post a new video, just hit the notification bell. It's somewhere on your screen and I will see you in the next video.